In an age where organized and collaborative documentation is essential, finding the right platform that offers control, security, and a rich feature set can be a challenge. That is why today we are focusing on Docmost, a powerful open source and self-hosted wiki and documentation solution. In this video, we will walk you through the complete installation and setup guide for Docmost. We will cover the prereqs, deploying the application, and the crucial steps required to secure your instance and ensure it is ready for production use. If you are ready to deploy Docmost, stay with us. Let us get started. The first thing that you're going to need is a Linux server, such as a VPS. We're going to go ahead and get one built for ourselves, and I will see you guys in just a moment. Once we have our Linux server, we're going to go to the Docmost website. At the top right, you're going to see Docs. Go ahead and click on that. Under self-hosting, you'll see installation on the left side. Scroll down just a little bit, and we're going to see a few commands. First things first, it wants us to create a directory for Docmos. So let's go ahead and copy that command. Go to our terminal and paste that in. LS, see that it's there. Let's go ahead and CD into that. Go back to our web browser. And then we're going to copy this command right here, which will download the Docker compose file that we need. LS, and then we have the docker-compose.yml. Before you can do really do anything with it, what we're going to want to go ahead and do is download and install Docker. So let's go ahead and go to a new tab here and go to the website that will be in the description below to install Docker. Once you're here, go ahead and scroll down just a little bit and you're going to see setting up the Docker repository. Let's go ahead and copy that command. Go to our terminal and paste that in. Should just take a little bit. Let's wait for that. Let's wait for that to finish. Once that is done, we're going to go back to our browser, scroll down just a little bit, and we're going to install Docker. We'll ask us if we want to continue. We're going to go ahead and type in Y and then press enter on your keyboard. Now that we have Docker installed, we can do Docker space dash V. And as you can see, we have Docker installed version 29.0.4. And we still are in the directory of our Docker compose files. So let's go ahead and dim into that and see what we have. So we have our services here. We have depends on, which means that the other things need to start first before the actual container of Docmo starts. Inside our environment, we have app URL. This is HTTP localhost colon 3000. This is fine for the tutorial. What you'll want to go ahead and do is type in your DNS name if you have that or your fairly qualified domain name. So docmos dot and then your domain dot com. And then once you have that, you can use something like a reverse proxy, such as Nginx Proxy Manager. You can go ahead and go find that video. We already did one on Nginx Proxy Manager to see how you guys can go ahead and secure that with an SSL certification. Once we go down, we're going to see a few things where we want to put in a password. Uh, it wants us to put in a few things, but make sure you guys type in all the passwords use a environment file. I highly recommend not keeping everything in your Docker compose file, but for this tutorial, we're not going to really need to do anything. So let's go ahead and save that and do Docker space compose space up space dash D. D is for detach, which means it's going to run in the background, the container. Let's go ahead and press enter. It's going to go ahead and pull that container and start it up. Let's go ahead and wait for that to finish. Once Docmos has started, let's go ahead and do a Docker space PS to see if it's running. Everything says it's up. It's running on port 1000. So let's go ahead and grab our IP with an IP space A. The NIC that we are going to be using is ETH or F0. It might be different for you guys, but let's go ahead and copy our IP. Go to our browser, new tab, paste that in colon and the port that it is running on. The container is 3000. So let's go ahead and press enter. See why that did not happen. We may have missed something in the Docker compose file. So let's go ahead and bring that down and see what we might have missed. Ah, right here, replace with long secret. We're gonna need to generate something, but you guys can really put whatever you want. Just make sure it is enough uh, to actually secure your environment. And we can bring this back up. This is just for the tutorial. So make sure you guys actually generate something secure and save that somewhere. Once you guys have generated the secret key, you'll actually be able to access the site now. And it's gonna ask you to create a workspace. So the workspace name, we're gonna do Kugatsu. Our name is Dawson. Email is going to be admin at kugatsu.cc and then a super secret secure password. Let's go and create that workspace. So now that we're in here, let's go ahead and click general and we are here. Let's create a new page, test, echo, hello. <laughs> Actually it's here, echo, hello. And then we can do uh, test.txt. Okay, so as you can see, you can do code blocks, which is awesome. You can actually go ahead and set this to what it is. This is technically bash and bash does have it there and it'll format it correctly. 
This is Docmos. You guys can invite other users. You guys can collaborate with each other. Just make sure you guys actually use a DNS name. Make sure you guys actually secure it with a SSL certification and make sure you guys actually uh, generate a secure uh, key inside the Docker Compose file. Once you guys have all that, you guys should have a fully working Docmos server for your documentation collaboration with your team. If you guys did enjoy, please let me know. If you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and I will answer them the best of my ability and possibly make a follow-up video explaining or going more into detail with whatever the question might be. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.